Assalamu alaikum. I am uh, checking out. Uh, there are the cards. Okay. Um, oh, he's on the phone. I thought he was speaking to me. Where is the, the bus station to go to Kabbalah? Kabbalah? Bus station? Kabbalah? Like a garage? Garage? Ah. Yeah. Where do you go? Kabbalah. Kabbalah? Yeah. Kabbalah. Kabbalah. Kabbalah? Kabbalah. Kabbalah. That way? Yeah, Atala. Okay. Out, uh, outside. Um, outside. And left. I can walk? Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, two oh, two minutes. Okay, thank you. Good evening. Good morning. Oh, I just ran into the door. Good afternoon, I think. I don't know. I think it's just before 12 p.m. But I uh, just checked out of the hotel and. Uh, like it was literally a split second decision. I was tossing up whether I go to Baghdad today or if I go to Karbala. And I guess I've made my decision. So I'm going to Karbala. Don't have a hotel booked there because I just checked out of that hotel. Um, so we're just gonna rock up there, catch a bus, catch a shared taxi, catch a taxi, I don't know. That's a really cool thing. You get to uh, choose what you do, where you go, and the mode of transport that takes you there. But, or maybe, uh, is this what she meant by left? I know, I think when I first arrived in Najaf, yeah, let's actually go this way. We'll get a taxi to the bus station. And then from there, we'll be able to go to uh, Kabbalah, Yalla. Surely one of them have to be going to Kabbalah, but the guy that I spoke to was military. So that's why I have the, uh, the camera down. Let's go speak to these guys. Assalamu alaikum. Kabbalah? Kabbalah. Kabbalah? Kabbalah, La, where, uh, this bus. Assalamu alaikum. Yeah, bus. Huh? Kabela. Oh. Bus, Kabela. Take a little shoe. Shoe? Sure. 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 Arabic. That one. Yeah. Kabela. Okay. Shukran. Apparently, it's this one. Let's hope. There's no bus driver, though. What am I meant to do? Guys. They're leading me on a wild goose chase. Is there anybody in here? Kabbalah. You are going to uh, Kabbalah? Oh, we got electric shocked. You know? Kabbalah. Kabbalah? La, la, la. La, la. Uh, where? Kabbalah. Hajis, Hajis. Ah, here. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, I'm going to uh, Kabbalah. How much? Uh, here. Two. 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 Two thousand. Ah, two p.m. Ah, eh. Two o'clock. Ah, two o'clock. Eh, eh, eh. Okay. Shukran. Haraka. Haraka. Maybe, uh, that's two hours. Okay. Shukran. All right, guys. So I guess uh, Kabbalah doesn't leave until two p.m. So I'm back on the road. I think the next best option is to get a taxi to the uh, the bus station. Assalamu alaikum. To the bus station uh, nearby to where I was dropped off when I first arrived in uh, Najaf. So, taxi. <laughs> is he stopping for me? I don't know. Um, am I filming? Yes. So, there's a big bus station and train station uh, pretty close by to where we got dropped off when we first. Uh, arrived to Najaf. So we're gonna get a taxi there. 
and then hopefully somebody there can help us <laughs> we'll see that's what spontaneity is everybody you just do whatever you want whenever you want go wherever city you want and go to any country you want but these roads <laughs> you'd think that one would be going that way one would be going that way but they're both going that way it's kind of funny oh we got a taxi Assalamu alaikum. Uh, garage? Huh? Garage? Garage? Eh, Kabbala. Eh. Yalla. You from Najaf? Yeah. Najaf, eh? Najaf. Yeah. Nice. Alright, got a taxi. That was actually pretty convenient. So we're heading to the garage. That's the term that is used here a lot. Uh, you just say garage and they'll take you to, to the nearest one. I honestly thought that the uh, buses to Kabbalah would be a lot more frequent. So it's around 12 p.m. at the moment. I, the next one was only until 2 p.m. But I guess that was a smaller bus station. I think the one that we're going to, it's huge. There will be plenty of buses, plenty of shared taxis and everything. And uh, ooh, these crazy drivers. <laughs> and uh, usually when they're full, they just leave. So there's no real like time frame. But, you know, like... I speak very little English uh, I, I, Well, I speak very little English in general <laughs> I can't even speak half a word usually But I speak very little uh, Arabic But people here speak very uh, little English So sometimes you're uh, misled and similar I mean, they obviously didn't do it on purpose But when I went onto that bus and asked Kabbalah And they said, yes It wasn't Kabbalah So, so you always got to like confirm one, two, three times Multiple people Get your Google Translate out Get your uh, Shui Shui Arabic out and uh, confirm where you're headed. Who knows where that bus could have led to. Maybe we'll go, go back down the bus or south. Who knows? something from the shop I might actually get something as well yeah. what do I want to buy coca-cola yeah we'll get a coca-cola 
Okay. Oh la la la. Too early in the morning for an energy drink. La 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 la. Uh all okay. All good. Shukran. He paid for it. I was gonna pay for it. it. Means I'll just have to give him a uh good I am filming. Ah Shukran. Coca-Cola, original taste. Let's give it a taste test. Oh that is fresh. But uh, yeah, he, he paid for this. So I have to uh give him a good tip at the end here. Some videos I've seen in Iraq of like road tripping and stuff made me think that these checkpoints were so bad that like we'd get questioned and everything. But honestly, it hasn't been a single issue. I haven't even had to show my passport once at any checkpoints or to any police because I've said multiple times actually that it's good to like bring your passport out, which it is. Uh, but I haven't had to ever show it to anybody. So I don't know, man. Some YouTubers like to create fear and you know act as if this is like a dangerous place and stuff. But like really, like I mean, I'm sure there are issues and everything, and I've only been here for like a week or so. But uh, from my personal experience, I haven't really had any uh, issues whatsoever. All right, now that we're soon approaching uh, Karbala, I need to figure out where I'm staying. In Najaf, I didn't book a hotel either. I just rocked up. Uh, but since we're in a taxi, we can get dropped off right there. So I have like four locations marked. We've got Hotel Al Mizan, 3.8 stars from 116 reviews. Looks okay. We got a Hotel Princess Towers, again, 3.8 stars. Honestly, I don't think anything is gonna beat the hotel that I stayed in in Najaf. That was actually a gold mine, like to come across that for such an affordable price. Um, so, <laughs> honestly, the bed was so good. The view was amazing. Uh, we got Hotel Dora Mustafa. 4.1 stars but only 21 reviews so I try to stay away from ones that don't have too many uh, reviews and then we got Burj Al Emira Hotel and I've uh, lost connection on oh, no. it 3.9 stars from 2.8 uh, 281 well that one actually looks half decent maybe we'll go to Burj Al Emira I think Emira is a very uh, global brand and it's damn tall look at this one it's huge, There's de they've definitely got rooms in there, it's like 20 stories high. I think that's the go. And then we're kind of like central to uh, the holy shrine that's there. Yeah, I think that's that's probably the best one to visit, I reckon. Alright guys, we made it to Karbala. We're uh, a few a few minutes away from the hotel, just drove past Imam Hussein's uh, shrine. It's like this massive, uh, I didn't actually see the shrine itself or the mosque. But I saw like all the pathways and stuff, tons of markets, tons of food and just people bustling, you know, having a good time. So lots of energy down there, but I think uh, we are approaching the hotel uh, in a few minutes. Well, not the hotel that I booked, but the hotel I plan to walk in on and get a room. It's like one of the tallest in the city, I think, so it should be pretty easy to spot, but Kabul's uh, pretty cool. We've got people selling bread, people selling biscuits, locals living their life you know people crossing the road doing the good old middle eastern crosswalk just walking <laughs> ice cream pomegranate juice water all that good stuff and people just uh, standing in the middle of the road that's uh that's what Karbala is doing here <laughs> yeah I, I will okay shukran Okay, shukran habibi. Yalla, yalla. Alright guys, unfortunately I couldn't just walk straight through because this area you need like get pat down beforehand. So <laughs> it is like kind of suspicious with these two big bags that I'm carrying around. But there's a couple of hotels around. And uh, I think whatever one I'm bloody trying to stay at, what's the name of it? The Burj Al Amira. 
I think it's over that way. So, I think uh, Imam Hussein's shrine is literally up ahead. It looks beautiful from the outside. But nonetheless, I think if we keep walking this way, go right, we'll uh, be in there. I'm gonna stop filming just because there's a lot of police around. I think this way. We got through part two of security. I feel like I'm in an airport. But <laughs> now, because I got turned around going the other way, I think now my hotel should be somewhere here. I think. And I hope. I think it's this one. I don't really know though. There's honestly so many hotels to choose from, but so if this one doesn't work out, we can go to the Al Hayat Hotel number two. But this one actually does look nice. I'm pretty sure it is this one. Let me just check the, the photos. I think it is this one. It looks damn good. Let's hope it's uh, affordable. Otherwise, we got this one. This one looks good as well. So if uh, that one isn't up to scratch, we can check out the Al Hayat 2. Yalla, let's go in. You guys are working here? Yes. <laughs> you have, oh, do you speak English? Yeah. yeah. Ah, good. Uh, do you have rooms available? No, no, sorry. Oh, uh, yeah. full? No, no, it's not full. We have some conditions, we have problems. Ah, problems. Yes. Okay. Is that hotel good? Yeah, but I think he's no. also closed. Oh, everything's closed? Yeah. Really? You want a, a good hotel? Yeah, just a. Uh, Where are you from? Australia. Australia. Yeah. So what happened? What, what happened to this hotel? Which hotel? This one. Is it construction? No hot water. We don't have hot water. We have some problems. Ah, I don't need hot water. I can do with cold water. It's okay. Yeah. It's fine. For yeah. You? Okay, no, no problem. <laughs> That's not an issue. Cold water. Yeah, cold water. Like, really cold? No, no, Yeah, no, just, no. just normal water. Yeah. Yalla. Can I, how, how much is a room? Uh, one person? Yeah, one. Yeah, we don't have for one. We have only for, for one person. Okay, yeah, two. Uh, 20,000. 20k. Yeah. 20 okay. Alam al-sabr. Shoo? Thank you. Thank you. Shukran. He's joking every time. It's my friend. <laughs> yeah. So you're the manager here? Yeah. He is working here or is your friend? Yeah, he's also the manager, but oh. I work in the night. He's in the oh, morning. during the day. You work during the night. Why are you here now? It's uh, because this is a problem. The, the water oh. problem, yes. And what's your name? Zohar. Zohar. Yes. It's working? It's perfect. Working. Yes. Thank you very much, Zohar. Habibi. The internet, that's what? Uh, 1,000, 2,000. 1,000, 2,000. Okay. Shukran, Habibi. If you need anything, just call. Eh. To the zero. Number zero. zero. Okay. Thank you. What a bunch of cool guys. Super friendly. Welcome to the hotel, everybody. This isn't even the one that I was uh, <laughs> even planning on staying at. In that uh, Amira one I was planning on walking onto. But when I saw this one, I said, oh, you know, it looks half decent. Let's walk inside. And what was the one I'm... So I think the one I was meant to be staying at is kind of like that way. I think the GPS is a little bit messed up here, to be honest. But this is it. We're paying uh, 40,000 per night, around like 30 US dollars. Maybe like 37, like Australian dollars. Guys are super kind here. <laughs> At first they were like, oh, you know, we have an issue here. I'm like, what's the issue? And they say, oh, we got no water. I'm like, oh, well, hot water. They have no hot water. I'm like, come on, I don't need any hot water. I'm not a baby. Cold water it is. We're only here for a night. But here is the room, everybody. Twin bed. We might move that desk and chuck them together so we get a cheeky uh, double bed there. But we'll do a bed test in a moment after we check out the bathroom. 
in here, we've got the bathroom. The uh, Al Harith Tower, I think that's where we're staying. Big shower space, which we uh, can't really make use of because the water's cold, but we will still have a sh cold shower. You got a, oh, that's interesting. Look at that. We got a squat toilet and we also got a normal toilet. So, bum gun, toilet paper, two bum guns. How good's that? Look at it. Is this going to shoot upwards? If I, oh, look at that. Oh, that's a fast one. That's vicious. So, we got the squat toilet. We got the normal toilet, a couple of uh, debris <laughs> still in there, and then we got this uh, bum gun as well. That's pretty cool. Got the shower head pretty high up, so it acts as if it's kind of like raining on your head. Cold rain in your bathroom, how good is that? And then uh, heading on outside, we got the 361 slippers. Probably grab them for a buck or two down at the local market. Fresh, fresh new kicks for me. And then uh, here's our bed and everything. Two beds, got a nice little view out looking. I think that's actually the uh, hotel I was meant to stay at. If you read Arabic, oh, you won't even be able to see it in the camera. I'm pretty sure that was the one though. Because I said it was the, one of the tallest ones, right? And that one's pretty damn tall. So, <laughs> anyways, all I know is that when I, I originally walked there, right? You can see there's a little barricade. I walked that way, but they stopped me because basically in this area is the area that gives you access to the shrine. So you have to like go through security and stuff. So I went through that first pat down and then when I reached this barricade, officer stopped me and was like, you have to go around the other way. And then I had to get my bags like scanned and everything. So that's uh, why I had to get stopped there. But there's a few little like cafes there, there's shisha bar. I saw uh, a couple shishas coming in, but let's get this bed test underway. Which one are we going to choose? Left or right, left or right. Which other one we're closest to? Ah, this one. Bed test. Oh man, another good bed. That is a ripper. That is brilliant. A nice soft bouncy bed. I don't know if it's this that makes it actually really soft because that's pretty thick. But that's good. That is good. And looking up at the ceiling, there's like this unique little circle here that you can uh, gaze into when you go to bed. But pillow, eh, pillow's mediocre at best. Maybe like a five out of 10 for the pillow. But overall, a nice place to crash for the night before we head uh, out of Karbala. So let's go and explore the city, everybody. Let's go have a shisha. Let's go see uh, Imam Hussein's holy shrine. Check out what the local people are doing. And uh, yeah, yalla, let's do it. All right guys, we're back out on the street. Chilled out for a couple minutes and now we're back on the hunt. Oh, he's got an electric bike. <laughs> Look at that, I should have copped a ride with him. Do a cheeky hitchhike, do a cheeky hitchhike session. Uh, but yeah, super cool out in these streets, honestly. Uh, this is like one of the side alleys. I think that street there is like the main one that leads towards uh, Imam Hussein's holy shrine so we're gonna check it out and then i spotted a cafe as i said earlier on we're gonna have a shisha session i think it's shisha o'clock very soon so i'm gonna call yalla let's see what the streets of uh Kabbalah are like Ooh, uh, wahid chai. look at this fresh fresh tea we're gonna uh, order some it's actually like cooked or boiled i should say on like fresh actual like wood and he's put a ton of sugar in there he's got the tea going oh that looks delicious and you already know shukran habibi you already know this is going to taste delicious and it's going to be burning hot Get all the sugar dissolved in there. Oh yeah, damn hot. Like very hot. You can see it like steaming. <laughs> we might uh, leave that for, for a second. Actually no, let's, oh, I don't even think I could pick it up to be honest. Yalla. Mmm, wow. So sugary, burnt the uh, burnt the tongue a lot, but you know after being here for a, a couple weeks now, 
I think I'm getting used to the hot, the hot tea. And look at all the sugar. Let's uh, let's let that cool for a bit, and then let's pay. Yeah, that's cool. You gotta put it in a little bucket. So it's two fifty. That's like around uh, twenty cents or something like that. Let's finish this off. And I think the the shrine is just over there. We'll walk around the streets, and we'll see uh, what's going on in Karbala. I, I like it. It's good vibes already. Honestly, really good vibes. Ah, so good. Shukrana, baby. All right, tea is uh, down the hatch. Let's go and explore the rest of Kabbalah. Yalla. All right, guys. So there's a oh exit to one of the. Uh, well, there's an exit to one of the entrances. No, that just made no sense. That's an exit to the shrine. Uh, I'm not going to go in just because I think I have to put my camera away. And last time I had Azhar, there to help me. But when uh, you don't speak a lick of Arabic and you have a camera given uh, to like to the security deposit box, it's like just a guarantee to go wrong. <laughs> I'm sure I could like get away with getting in there, but it's just so lively in here. People are uh, walking around, salam alaikum, eating, chilling. You got fresh juice, ice cream. You got food. Kanefe looking things over there. Honestly, when I had that uh, Kanefe look like yesterday, I can't even remember the name of it. It was delicious. But just so much action going on. Everyone's so happy. It's a, uh, you can really feel the good vibes. Just look how beautiful it is, honestly. So gorgeous. It's incredible. Architecture is beautiful, out of this world, honestly. All right, well, I haven't eaten all day, and it's around like 2 p.m. I see shawarma. We have two to choose from. We can go with these guys, or we can go with these guys. It doesn't look like that one's being manned at the moment, so we'll go here. So we got chicken or meat. We got falafels, French fries. Salam alaikum. Uh, wahid uh, chicken. Shukran, habibi. We got. Falafels, french fries, cucumbers. Are they samosas? I don't know, but here we go. The chicken is uh, coming off. This is probably the first street sh uh, shawarma I've had here in uh, in Iraq proper. He's cutting it all off. Fresh, juicy chicken. And uh, in there we got the bread going. Oh, it's not your traditional wrap. It's kind of like the, the pita in uh, Turkey. So he chucks in the vegetables, the chicken, and then uh, a couple of tomatoes to, to cut it all off. And a bit of lemon. Eh, la, la, la. No lemon. I don't like the bitterness. Shukran Habibi. All right. Let's give this a taste test here in uh, the streets of Karbala. This is kind of like giving me OCD, this little uh, stringy bit. So I'm going to eat that first. And now we're going to get a big bite. Oh. The bread is so soft. Wow. <laughs> Very good. Zane. Zane Shawarma, if that's even what it's called here. Oh. The chicken. To be honest, I was a little bit questionable on the chicken when I saw it. It wasn't really that cooked, but now that it's in there and I've been eating it, it tastes damn good. It's crispy, it's fresh, and it's super warm. All right, let's finish this off and then we'll pay. Maybe like. I don't know how much it will be. Maybe 2k, 3k, we'll see. I just noticed as well, they got beef patties or meat patties that you can get. 
hamburgers maybe done with so they're cooking you got the ones that are cooked over there you got the vegetables there and then in the back i don't know what he's doing in there but over this side they have a they have their shawarma on standby look at this he's just grabbing them so many and you got falafels french fries fresh drinks more of those patties Oh la, okay, sorry. How much? Plus? Plus? Yeah, shukran habibi. Shoo? Yeah. <laughs> Alright. We're bringing a lot of attention to ourselves. Alright, well, I kind of got like kicked out of the shawarma place. Not from the guy that I bought it from, but the guy next door when I was filming saying that uh, they had shawarmas on uh, standby. And like in any situation, I, I don't like want to keep on filming there. I just pay my money and then uh, get out of there. But so I gave him 10K and he gave me 5K back and then I started walking off just thinking, oh, you know, maybe it was like five, five thousand. But then he uh, called me back and he kept on uh, bringing in more money. So I think it cost 1,250. So one, under one uh, USD. So pretty good. I'm going to finish this off. So I'm going to walk around for a little bit. Just, uh, I get like super, as soon as like one person says like no filming, especially when I'm by myself, it's just like an instant uh, vibe, like killer, which is fair enough, you know? Not everybody wants to be on camera here, right? All right, we're coming down to the last bite here. That uh, tea shop that I was at before, it's just over there. And uh, I reckon that was genuinely a good shawarma. If they're even, are they called shawarmas or are they called like, I know in Turkey they call them pide, P-I-D-E. So, uh, it tastes good, the bread was super soft. On first glance, the chicken looked a little bit questionable, but after eating it was actually uh, pretty delicious. So, apart from getting kicked out by the other shawarma guy, that was a good shawarma. Anyways, I'm gonna head back past my hotel and I'll show you guys the little cafe that I saw beforehand with a bit of shisha and we'll uh, call it shisha o'clock time because I'm vibing a shisha session. One of the last here in Iraq before we uh, head to Baghdad and then fly out. So, let's uh, Go and claim our shisha o'clock ticket. Yalla. Another chai, man. Here, I think this is it, right? Oh yeah, perfect spot for a shisha. Oh, that's a vibe. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, do we want to sit in or out? Let's, uh, let's sit outside. Shisha. Uh, what do you have? Uh, Hamudana. Eh, hey. uh, Wahid. Eh, hey, Wahid. Uh, yeah, just, just whatever you give me. I'll be happy. <laughs> Alright, we're using our three words of Arabic to get ourselves a shisha. And this spot's... A vibe, look. We got the shisha man over there, all the shisha heads, and just kind of like a, a chill setup. And just like a, a chill setup of the, uh, the layout. Asalaamu Alaikum. Alright. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is officially shisha o'clock here in Karbala. Look at this. Nice shisha. Got the, uh, the wood fired coals. Got to fix up this tip a bit. Alright, yalla. Shisha o'clock, here in Kavala. Mm. Ah, it's good to be back. It's, uh, I think, Nana. It's got the minty flavor. And I can taste lime and lemon as well. Oh. <laughs> Nothing better hanging out with the locals, having a shisha session, and uh, I mean Hussein's holy shrine is just over there. Oh. Habibi, Wahid uh, Mai? Mai? Shukran. Guys, my Arabic is getting better. I love these, just how, how chill these cafes are. 
got your chai, got your drinks, got your shisha. Honestly, something like this, there's nothing like this in Australia. Cafes, it is like, you know, coffee, food and stuff, but something like this, something so chill would, honestly, I think it'd be a big hit in Australia. I feel like people are, uh, maybe I'll start my own shisha, shisha cafe in Australia. Shishas really aren't a big thing in Australia. I've never had one in Australia either, but like, I'm sure there's some shisha bars around. I'll have to check them out eventually when I go back home, but I think one, if I was to start one, I'd sell shisha. I'd sell, uh, you know, a bit of coffee and of course have the cheese paratha stand on the side here. And you know, you can get Luke's cheese parathas, you can get Luke's argiles, Ar Luke's shishas, whatever you want, and just chill. And, uh, I think that'd be a pretty big hit. So maybe I'll expand into the uh, hospitality business eventually at some point. And uh, or specifically the cheese paratha and shisha business. I think it'd be good. All right, final hit of the shisha here. Oh, all right. That's me all shisha out. Yellow. Let's uh, pay and we'll get on with the day. Habibi, flus? 2000. Yeah, you can take five. Shukran, that's all good. Shukran, Habibi. La la, uh, la la. No, <laughs> No, you are. Uh... Okay, hala, salas. It's okay. Shukran. <laughs> Only 2000 for a cheeky little shisha session and a bottle of water. Pretty good price, but I think that's where we're going to finish up today's video, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Karbala. First impressions, Vibly City, beautiful shrines, beautiful monuments, and everything that we've seen, and amazing shisha. So, thank you so much for watching the video, everybody. As always, chase your dreams, and we'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.